Well, good morning. It is September 24th, day 135 on the trail for me. I got dropped off by uh, Bethany's son, Wolfie, about a half hour ago. And I'm in the middle of a climb. But there's a moment for a nice view there. I had a thunderstorm come through back in Johnson City at about 4 o'clock in the morning. It was short-lived, but <laughs> loud. I don't know if they got any rain here. The trees don't look wet. The ground's a little damp, but that could be from yesterday still. I don't know. But it looks like we're going to have some weather over the next few days. Um, there's a hurricane coming up through the Gulf of Mexico and, you know, we might get some of the outer bands of it as it makes its way north. We'll, we'll see. <clears throat> My plan for today is about, I think it's 16.9 miles. And uh, that'll put me at a shelter area. Lots of climbing today. I think I've got over 5,000 feet of uh, ascent. So, lots of climbing today. And, uh, not too much descent. But I think I can manage. All right, well, as always, if I see anything interesting, I'll grab a picture or some video. But for now, here's what the trail looks like. A little pool and it closed down and we've got a little bridge here to go over the branch. Well, had about three and a half miles left. Uh, I'm in a descent off of one Climb one mountain, and then I've got one more big climb to do. There just hasn't been any views. Uh, there was supposed to be one up at this the last peak, but I read the comments, and it had to do a, a short blue blaze up to the actual view. And I read comments on Far Out that said, yeah, There's no view. It's a bunch of trees. So I didn't do the extra climb up. But yeah, nothing to see today, unfortunately. Um, got some, and some thunder rolling in the area. Felt a few sprinkles. I got my rain gear on just in case. Otherwise, it's been all right, you yeah. know, tough climbs, but uh, we're through the portion of the trail that is maintained by the Eastern Tennessee Club, and now we're in a portion of the club that's maintained by a Carolina Club, um, and that's a good thing. <laughs> Because, for whatever reason, the Tennessee Club does not build nor maintain 
privies at the shelters. They also, uh, at least in my experience, all the shelters that I visited, not a single bear box nor bear cave. I don't know why. It seems strange to me that they wouldn't do that, but I'm sure it's expensive and difficult to build them. But you know, the best way to you know not have to kill a bear is to not let it get fed. And you know, sometimes hikers aren't the aren't the best at uh, keeping the food away from the bears. But from what I've seen in the shelters I'm planning to use over the next few days, they all have those amenities. So that's a good thing. All right, so, you know, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the weather, but I might not be able to get any pictures or video until I get to the shelter. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, for now, here's what the trail looks like. I'm at the top of Little Bald. Something's not right here. Uh, it is not bald, that's for sure. Maybe it was at one time, but no longer. It wasn't little either. It was a heck of a con. But it was the last one. So, and I gone. Got a little bit more to go to the shelter area. The rain's pretty much, no, the rain has stopped. It's, uh, got some stuff coming off the leaves now. And, uh, hopefully it'll stay dry overnight. We'll see. All right, see you in a bit. Alright, so made it to the Bald Mountain Shelter. Uh, it's, a, it's got two stories. Well, sort of. I mean, it's got two levels of bunks. Um, it can hold uh, ten people. There's, uh, looks like there's going to be about five people in the actual shelter, and then there's, uh, there's some people in tents in a nice little grassy area next to it. So I think there's about nine people and uh, one puppy there. So. Um, yeah, so after the rain came through, it cooled down a bit. It's going to be a bit chilly tonight. And of course, I'm at, what, 5,200 feet, I think. Um, so it's, it's a bit chilly up here. Um, and tomorrow and what's, t so today's Tuesday. Yeah, so tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have some, some rain, um, during the days. And then Friday morning, it looks like, you know, we're going to get the brunt of that, uh, the remnants of that hurricane that's coming through. I think it's, I think my wife said the name of it is Helene, um, which is unfortunate. Uh, that was uh, my wife's grandmother's name. And so it's just, it's a, a sad reminder. Um, but um yeah, it's gonna, we're gonna have some bad weather on Friday, so I've gotta figure out what I'm gonna do Friday. Um, my plan is over the next couple of days to hike to shelters, at least, so I'll be able to get out of the rain. And I don't know, we'll just have to see what happens with the weather on Friday morning. It looks like it, the worst of it's going to be in the morning and then get a little bit better during the day. So I might just have to, uh, I might just sit around Friday morning uh, and wait for the worst of the weather to pass and then hike into hot springs. Um, I'll have to see how that works out. I had planned on not, you know, not doing a zero, 
I planned on getting into hot springs and, you know, resupply, stay at a hostel, and then get moving ne the next day. But I might have to adjust that because of the weather. Um, I don't know. Um, my plan for the next two days was like 19 tomorrow and then 22, I think. Uh, and each of those is going to get me to a shelter area. Um, and I know I can do those miles. It's just now I'm a little bit more worried about having to deal with the rain on Friday. Hopefully it does wait until Friday. If it came on Thursday, that would be worse. Um, of course, I know I'm... I'm worrying about, you know, rain. Um, I know that uh, it's going to hit the panhandle and it's supposed to be a bad hurricane. So I hope uh, things go well for the folks in the panhandle. Um, yeah. Um, brighter news. Uh, I, I found out, uh, I found out, I guess it was a couple days ago and I just didn't think about it to put it in the video, but my friend Bourbon um, finished his hike at Katahdin uh, a couple days ago. And so, uh, congratulations, Bourbon. Uh, happy to see that, that picture come up on, uh, on Instagram. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm happy that you were able to, to get it done uh, after, gosh, I think after that month off. Um, it looks like you had uh, decent weather, much better than what I had. <laughs> so, congratulations, Bourbon. Alrighty, um, as always, if you've stuck through to the end, you know I appreciate it. I'll see you again tomorrow on the trail.